Where were you when you came running on the block? I saw the car in flames. Started recording what he did? before the firemen came, before the cops came. And within seconds, the car was done. Tires blew out. Okay, um, around eight, late 8 o'clock, I was down here, down the street, um, Eastern Parkway and Rogers. And so at the, at the time, there was no other cars coming. And um, on this lane right here, I, I noticed a black Jeep approaching at a very, very, rate, very um, fast rate of speed. And um, when he flew past me, uh, I yelled out and, um, an expletive, which I can't say right here because because he was going so fast. And so um, as he was coming down here, there was a, there was a red light. Everything was at a standstill. And, um, and from there, off in the distance, uh, while I was up there, I just seen a, a loud explosion. And then right uh, instantaneously, this car right here on flames. So you can tell me what happened to your daughter? Well, we really don't know exactly what happened to her. We just, we were in, in a prayer meeting and she caught her mother crying, saying that she's in a car accident. But we didn't have this thing, it's just to talk to her to find exactly what, what happened. But the, we thank God she's alive because the way they had not happened, they said the other, the other guy, can you tell me what happened? I was driving westbound down Eastern Parkway. I was going to make a left, but I stopped at the red light. And I looked down for a split second, and then everything happened. I don't know what happened after that, honestly. The car just... spun. I jumped out of the car because I thought it was going to blow up. Afterwards, I actually looked across the street, and I saw the two witnesses pulling the body out from the burning car. The car just blew up in front of the me. officer, whoever that was, that pulled that person out of the car. That was a bit of heroism and a great deal of courage.